just 20 years back, we thought that ecosystems were something we preserved and conserved for the sake of aesthetic or preserving certain species of flora and fauna. But increasingly, science has been able to show that ecosystems are actually tools that provide the very basic life support for human well-being. And that without ecosystems, we don't have any social or economic or, or security from the local household to the, to the global level. So the whole notion of ecosystem services has grown out of that insight that we've actually turned, turned the whole development agenda upside down. We always thought of social and economic development as being the prime frameworks, and then we try to minimize environmental impacts. But, but ecosystem service thinking changes that and says that nature provides us with a set of functions and services. And these functions are, for example, fundamental things like climate regulation, fresh water flows, air quality, and, and a whole set of, of basics which are, let's say, the bloodstream of the landscape being fresh water flows or, or, or the oxygen that we breathe, but also a whole set of services, which is everything from food, uh, timber, fiber, uh, natural resources in the ground, but also, of course, what we often think when we talk about ecosystems, biodiversity, um, the, the, the richness of, of nature. So these, these two are kind of the fundamental blocks when we talk about ecosystem services. So that's one of the very in, nice advancements of the whole sustainable development agenda, the insight that ecosystems are, are no longer something we put behind fence. It's really a, a toolbox for our own development.